Alright guys, listen up. You already know Notebook LM is a beast for wrangling your research, notes, and basically making sense of massive info dumps. But Google just dropped something that's about to change how you use it on the daily. Let's get into the new Notebook LM dedicated mobile app. Well, Google just answered one of the biggest requests from us power users. They've officially launched a dedicated Notebook LM app for both Android and iOS. Yeah, you heard that right. No more clunky browser tabs on your phone if you want to access your notebooks on the move. This is a native experience, and today we're diving into what this actually means for your workflow, how it levels up what you're already doing, and if it's worth making space for on your home screen. You guys are pros, so I want your hot takes in the comments as we go. If you're ready to see if this app is a true upgrade, hit that like button and let's break it down. So Notebook LM has been around, helping us make magic with our documents. Why a dedicated app now, especially when the web version was functional? Here are some points. Top user request. Google straight up said this was one of the most frequent requests. We asked, they eventually delivered. On the go access. The core idea is understanding anything anywhere. The web app on mobile was okay. An app promises a smoother, more integrated experience when you're not at your desk. Think about those moments of inspiration or quick questions you have about your sources when you're commuting, waiting in line, or just away from your main rig. And beyond the browser limitations, native apps can tap into device features more seamlessly. Think share sheets, background activity, and potentially a more optimized UI. For guys like us, who are probably juggling multiple projects, learning new skills, or deep into research, being able to instantly tap into that curated knowledge base without wrestling a mobile browser is a big deal. It's about reducing friction. Okay, so it's an app. Cool. But is it just a web wrapper? Or are there tangible benefits for us seasoned Notebook LM users? Let's look at what the official Google announcement and early reports are highlighting. Streamlined mobile UI. The app features a native interface with a bottom bar for sources, chat, and studio, making navigation more intuitive on a smaller screen. The home screen shows your notebooks as cards with filters for recent, shared, title, and downloaded. Looks clean, adapts to your device's light or dark mode. Audio overviews, now with superpowers. This is a huge win. You can now download those AI-generated podcast-style audio overviews of your sources perfect for listening during your commute, at the gym, or anywhere with spotty internet without burning through your data. Listen to your audio overviews while multitasking in other apps, essential. The iOS version, and likely coming to Android if they're not there at launch, has a beta feature to join the AI hosts during an audio overview. You can tap in, ask follow-up questions, and steer the conversation. That's next level engagement with your material. Effortless Source Edition, the Share Sheet Integration. This is probably one of the killer features. When you're browsing a website, reading a PDF, or even watching a YouTube video in another app, you can now hit the native share icon on your phone and send it directly to Notebook LM to add as a source. No more copy-pasting links or manual uploads if you find something useful on the fly. Google says they'll add more input types over time. Core Functionality Retained. All the core features you rely on from the desktop version are there. Creating notebooks, adding various sources, PDFs, web links, YouTube, text, the powerful AI chat to ask questions about your specific documents, and the studio features like generating summaries, timelines, or study guides. It's powered by Gemini specifically mentioning Gemini 2.5 Flash, so you're getting Google's latest AI muscle grounded in your documents. The offline audio and the share sheet integration are the immediate standouts for me. These aren't just cosmetic, they fundamentally change how and where you can interact with Notebook LM. The interactive audio host feature is also very promising for deeper dives. All right, let's connect the dots. You guys are already leveraging Notebook LM. How does this new app specifically amplify what you do? Think about this. You're out, maybe reading an article on your phone or watching a relevant YouTube video. Bam! Instant send to the right notebook. No more, I'll save this for later and then forgetting. This keeps your knowledge base fresh and comprehensive with minimal effort. You have that 30 minute train ride? Downloaded audio overviews of those dense research papers or project docs. You're absorbing info, prepping for meetings, or just learning, hands free. Need to quickly recall a specific detail from one of your sources while you're in a discussion or brainstorming? 
pop open the app, ask your grounded question, and get the answer. No need to boot up the laptop. If you're creating content, reports, articles, videos, or podcasts, being able to quickly pull key insights, quotes, or summaries from your curated sources on your phone can streamline your outlining and drafting process, even when you're not at your main workstation. Trying to master a new skill or subject? Feed your learning materials into Notebook LM, use the audio overviews while you're doing chores, and then dive into specific questions with the chat feature whenever you have a spare moment. This makes Notebook LM less of a destination tool you only use at your desk and more of a constant companion. For our demographic, always looking to optimize and learn, this mobility is a significant upgrade. So you want in? The app launched around May 19th or 20th, 2025. Yeah, that recent, for both Android 10 Plus and iOS 17 Plus, available on phones and tablets. So if yours allows it, you can check the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. As mentioned, it should be widely available now. Some initial reports mentioned minor compatibility hiccups on specific Android devices right at launch, which is pretty typical and usually gets ironed out quickly. Expect the main Notebook LM features you know. Google positions this as the first version of the app, with more refinements and features planned in the next days or months. In terms of the tablet interface, the app offers a dual pane layout, which should be great for viewing sources and interacting with the AI simultaneously, closer to the desktop feel. One small detail for those who care, the app follows your system light or dark theme. No manual toggle within the app itself, at least for now. If there's one thing to take away from this app launch, it's this. Notebook LM is no longer tethered to your desk. Google has essentially supercharged its accessibility and utility by making it a first-class citizen on mobile. For those of us who already understood Notebook LM's power, this removes a major friction point and integrates it much more seamlessly into our busy mobile lives. This isn't about learning a new tool. It's about unlocking new ways and new places to use a tool you already value. The offline audio and share sheet are game changers for continuous learning and research. All right, that's the lowdown on the new Notebook LM mobile app. It's here, it's native, and it brings some key enhancements, especially for on-the-go use. But now, I want to hear from you. Have you downloaded the Notebook LM app yet? What are your first impressions? Which features are you most hyped about? The offline audio? The share sheet? How do you see this changing your personal Notebook LM workflow? Anything missing that you were hoping for in a dedicated mobile app? Drop your experiences, your critiques, your wishlist items down in the comments. Let's get a real power user discussion going. If this breakdown helped you figure out what's new with the Notebook LM app, do me a solid and smash that like button. And if you're not already subscribed for more deep dives into AI tools that actually help you get stuff done, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Stay sharp, keep learning, and I'll catch you in the next one.